United Kingdom is on the slide. Whee! France and Switzerland are on the swings. <laughs> Germany is playing hopscotch. One, two, three. America, Russia, Spain and Greece <laughs> are in the sandpit. <laughs> I'm building a big sandcastle. <laughs> Yeehaw! Here are Holland and Japan. Ahem. Now it's our turn in the sand pit. Why? Because you've had your turn. You can play on the slide now. But we want to play here. <coughs> oh dear. There is not enough room in the sand pit for more than four countries. <laughs> What's going on? It's our turn in the sand pit. But we were here first. Is Susie being a bit bossy? George started it. Leave George alone. He's only little. <coughs> hello, hello, hello. What's all this noise about then? Nay. They're trying to push us out of the sandpit. No, we're not. Yes, you are. George started it. That's not right. Right. Oh dear. The countries of the world are not playing nicely together. Peace and harmony in all the what? What's that noise? Oh no! The countries are fighting. We can't play in the sand pit. Yes, we can. It's not fair. Stop arguing, Susie. You're always telling people what to do. No, I am not. Children, children. What is happening? <laughs> America, Russia, Spain and Greece won't share the sand pit. <laughs> Holland is being bossy. You're the bossy one. <laughs> George can be king and I'll be a bossy queen. Do this, do that. <laughs> Your Majesties, may I carry on with the tour? Yes, you may. We have to go through a secret passage. But first, we have to find the secret passage. Hmm. These secret passages usually have some sort of top secret button to open them. I don't think it's that big red button, George. That would be too obvious. Oh. Yes, we try to keep it simple. <laughs> <laughs> this passage has led us to the dining hall. Wow! This must be the medieval banquet. Yes, it looks really tasty. It's all made of plastic. Yes, it's to show what a real banquet would have looked like. Oh. But of course, as part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic! Here it is, your banquet in a box. The oldie cheese sandwich, Jester's pickle and a king's jelly. It's a little picnic in a box. Yes, it's not quite the medieval banquet I was expecting. And now it's time to meet the dragon. <laughs> George, it won't be a real dragon. Dragons are just pretend. Yes, don't be sad if it's just Miss Rabbit holding a little glove puppet. Oh! Wow. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Do you want to see it breathe fire? Yes, please! <laughs> I'm just going to park it! Oh, uh, it's heading for our car! Another reason we say cars are parked at owner's risk. And that's the end of the tour! Uh, who wants a biscuit? Me! me, 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 me. me. Now it's a treasure chest. Let's find some treasure to put in it. Hurrah! Someone has to stay here to guard the pirate ship. Me! I will guard it. If you see someone coming, shout, Stop! Who goes there? Stop! Uh, who goes there? OK, let's go find some treasure! Hurrah! 
Danny Dog likes being a pirate. Hurrah! Everyone likes being a pirate. Hurrah! A jolly pirate we that sailed the deep blue sea to find a golden treasure for sale ahoy me. <laughs> Danny has found a pine cone. Treasure! <laughs> Pepper has found a shell. Treasure! Susie has found an old bit of rope. Treasure! <laughs> Freddy has found a pebble. Treasure! <laughs> I'll just have a little sleep. Pedro <sighs> always takes his glasses off before he sleeps. <sighs> Let's creep up on Pedro! Yes! Danny, Pepper, Susie and Freddy are creeping up on Pedro. Yes. Sorry. You're lucky we're friendly pirates. <laughs> We've got treasure. That's nice. Let's put it in the treasure chest. Now we can bury it. Yes. yes. And I'll stay here and guard the pirate ship. OK, Pirate Pedro, but don't fall asleep this time. I won't. Here, you can all find something to wear in the dressing up box. <laughs> Pepper has found a top hat. <laughs> Danny Dog has found some spotty trunks and a stick on moustache. <laughs> Pedro has found a clown outfit. <laughs> Who wants makeup? Me, please. What does everyone want to be? <laughs> I want to be the clown. But, Pepper, where is your clown costume? OK, you be the clown. I want to be the strong man. OK, Danny, you be the strong man. I want to be the juggler. But I wanted to do that. Wow! OK, you be the juggler. Grandpa, I don't have a job to do. You can be the ringmaster, Pepper. You've got the hat for it. What's a ringmaster? The ringmaster is the boss. Yes! I'll be the ringmaster! <laughs> what do I do? You say, welcome to my circus. See the impossible, the amazing, the incredible feats of daring do. Ooh! Uh, welcome to my circus. It's got amazing feats. <laughs> Granny Pig's garden party guests are here. Hello, everyone. You're in for a treat. The circus has come to town. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my circus. Now, please be very scared of the amazing Candy Cat. <laughs> George, Richard and Edmund on Tricycle! Squeak! I've got a secret. What is it? My mummy's got a bump in her tummy. Ooh! Has she eaten too much? No, there's a baby rabbit inside. Mummy rabbit? Is there really a baby rabbit in your tummy? Yes. Would you like to listen to it? Yes, please. Can you hear a little heartbeat? Yes, I can. It's going boom, boom, boom. Oh, it just moved. Yes. Sometimes babies give a little kick. Nay. What will you call it? I don't know. Would you children like to think of a name? Yes, please. Hello, Mummy Rabbit. Would you like a cup of coffee? I can't have coffee, but I am quite hungry. Would you like a carrot? I'm a bit off carrot. Have you got any potatoes? Yes, we do. Maybe a potato with jelly and cheese and strawberry jam, please. Yeah. <laughs> a potato with jelly, cheese and strawberry jam? What a funny mixture of food. We need to think of a name for the baby. Yes. If the baby is a girl, she'll be called Rachel Rabbit. Or how about 
Ruth Rabbit. Roxanne Rabbit. Sharon Rabbit. I don't think so, Pedro. Sharon Rabbit sounds wrong. I like Rosie. Rosie Rabbit. It's perfect. But what if the baby is a boy? Oh. How about Rufus Rabbit? Raymond Rabbit. Michael Rabbit. Michael Rabbit? No! Robbie Rabbit. Yes, Robbie Rabbit. Thank you for the potatoes with jelly, cheese and strawberry jam, Mummy Pig. My pleasure. We thought of a name for the baby. Daddy, why are you wearing that funny hat? <laughs> this is my beret. It puts me in the mood for painting pictures. Now, what shall I paint? <laughs> well chosen, George. I'll paint the old cherry tree. What's that? It's an easel, Pepper. It holds my canvas. What's a canvas? It's a bit like paper for very special paintings. Is that toothpaste? Oh, oh. No, Pepper. These are special paints for grown up artists. There. What colour shall we begin with? Red, please. Why red, Pepper? Red is my favourite colour. But first, we need to paint the sky. Look, what colour is it? Blue, of course. Very good. Let's start with blue. <laughs> now for the cherry tree. We need green for the leaves. But there isn't any green. Never mind. If we mix blue paint with yellow paint, we can make green. Mixing blue and yellow makes green. Ooh! What lovely green leaves. And here's some grass. What about the branches? We haven't got brown paint. We can make brown. We'll mix the green and the red. Mixing green and red makes brown. Ooh! Daddy Pig paints the tree trunk and the branches. Wow! Cherries. Yes, Pepper. Put your finger in the paint and dab it onto the tree. <laughs> One, two, three. Well done. Now it's George's turn. <laughs> <laughs> what a great painter you are, George. Here are Mr. Bull and his friends. Mr. Bull has come to build the new house. Aren't you building it, Daddy? I've done the hard bit. Mr. Bull just has to follow my instructions. Uh... Hello, Mr. Pig. What's it to be? Car park? Swimming pool? Rocket station? A house. Can you build it exactly like this, please? But bigger. Mr. Pig wants a house. Is it going to be built of straw? Or stakes? Or bricks, Mr. Pig? Bricks, please. Good choice. Don't forget the swing. Don't worry, Pepper. We won't. <laughs> Can I help? <laughs> George wants to help too. OK, George. Could you put a blob of mortar here? <laughs> Looks like squelchy mud. Mortar is a very special kind of mud that sticks bricks together. <gasps> Peppa, would you like to lay the first brick? Yes, please. Well done. I'll do the rest. Bricks must be laid straight and level. See? Line after line. That will take ages. Yes. Will you finish it today? Oh, no. You can't build a house in a day. It'll be finished tomorrow. Good. See you tomorrow, Mr Bull. Bye-bye. Bye. George put the sticky mud down and I put the brick on top. Mm. That all sounds very exciting. Now, close your eyes and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it is morning. Pepper and George cannot wait to see the new house.
Hello? Grandpa? Remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump today. Righto. I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Good luck, Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? Uh, here they are. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now for Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready, steady, go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. Whoa! The puddle has gone. <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us. Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. It's a new world record. Hooray! Champion Daddy Pig. And who is this? I'm Peppa Pig. One day, I will be the champion puddle jumper. I've been training her. Ah, to be trained by the master. What have you learned? Uh, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> <laughs> this bit can be the bonnet. And this can be the seats. What's your favourite number, George? George's favourite number is two. Oh, this racing car will be super fast. Hooray! Don't make it go too fast, Grandpa. George is only little. Don't worry, Pepper. This will be a pedal car, not a motor car. Ah! Next, we need a steering wheel. Last of all, you need racing goggles and a hat. <laughs> it's George's racing car! <laughs> Here are Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Look at George's racing car. Wow! wow. I'll race you. And me. And me. I want to race too. Where's your racing car, Peppa? I don't have a racing car. Don't worry, Peppa. You can be the chief mechanic. What does that do? You fix George's car if it goes wrong. Oh, goody. <sniffs> I hope it goes wrong a lot. <laughs> Let's start the race. Three times round the garden. Ready, <laughs> steady, go! And they're off. Come yeah. on, George. Yeah. That's the end of lap one, and George is in the lead. What's all this noise out here? I'm trying to watch television. We're having a race, Granny. Yeah. That's the end of lap two, and George is still in the lead. <laughs> began to grow. He grew and he grew and he grew until he was taller than all of the trees in the forest. The end. Are you sleepy, George? No. Not even a little bit? No. <sighs> OK, I'll do a bit more story. Baby Bear said there is a box of golden treasure at the end of the world. But it's too far for me to go because I'm too little. Georgie said, I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. 
He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big dragon. Grrr. Yes, a big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. Roar! Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig began to shrink. He shrank and he shrank and he shrunk until he was the same little Georgie Pig as he was before. How will we get back home now? said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home to the little house in the forest. Susie Sheep is in charge of the face painting stall. Hello, Susie. Can I be a mountain leopard, please? No, I can only do fruit. OK, can I be... A plum! There. Pepper is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up, roll up for your lucky dip. Moo! Hello, Pepper. Hello, Mr Bull. You've got a green face. I'm an apple. Ooh, would you like to try the lucky dip? OK. What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs Cat has won a digger. Oh, do you want to swap? No, no thank, thank you. you. Mr Bull and Mrs Cat like their lucky dip prizes. <laughs> Roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the Mummies and Daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> it's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump over there <laughs> as fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set. And they've fallen down. Oh. And they're back up again. Hooray! Oh. Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! Keep going, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! And my mummy is the winner! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? Yes. Not yes. Lots of fun. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. Thank, thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. Again. Hooray! <laughs> Who do you think that is? It's Baby Alexander. Baby Alexander is Peppa's cousin. No, that's you as a baby pepper. Baby pepper. <laughs> Somebody sounds like they're having fun. Look, Daddy, that's a picture of me as a baby. I remember it well. It was taken on our first day in this house. What do you mean? When you were little, we moved into this house. We brought all our things on top of our car. Mummy Pig put some pictures up. Daddy Pig put up a shelf. And Grandpa Pig made us a lovely flower garden. Where's Grandpa's lovely flower garden now? Daddy Pig looked after it. Uh, we had the wrong kind of soil for flowers. Oh. And anyway, you needed somewhere to play. You and Susie loved to play in the garden. <laughs> Susie, my friend in the olden days. Yes, you and Susie have always been best friends. <laughs> in the olden days.
seven days, did Susie and me jump up and down in muddy puddles? No, Peppa. You were babies. You couldn't even walk. Oh. What did we do? <laughs> you cried. <laughs> you burped. <laughs> and you laughed. <laughs> we were babies. Baby Susie. Baby Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Goo goo gaga goo goo gaga. <laughs> Soon after that, you were toddlers. <laughs> and where was George? He was a baby in my tummy. <laughs> stop, stop! That is not music, that is just noise. Anybody can bang, 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 but to make music, you have to listen to each other and keep in time. Madam Gazelle, I can't listen and do music. Can you clap? Yes. If you can clap, you can make music. Or the girls, please copy me. Now, boys. Madam Gazelle has made the clapping into music. And stop. <laughs> now we will learn how to play our instruments together. Meow. The parents have come to pick up the children. Ah, you're just in time. May I present the Shake, Rattle and Bang Orchestra. Hooray! Children, ready, steady, go. Bravo! Perhaps some of my old pupils would like to join in too. Find your instruments, children. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. Madam Gazelle used to teach all the mummies and daddies when they were little. It's quite hard, Daddy, but you do it like this. Let me see if I've got that right. Daddy, you can play the drums. I am a bit of an expert at drumming. That's good shake, rattle and banging. Now for a tune. Hello, butterfly. I'm making perfume. It's going to be the prettiest, smelliest perfume ever. <gasps> Lovely! Here is George. Stand back, George. I'm making perfume. Do you want to watch? <coughs> First, I pick a smelly flower. <sighs> Very flowery. Then I put it in my beaker. No, George. You can't put grass in my perfume. It needs the smell of flowers. Smell! <laughs> Yuck! George does not like smelly flowers. Grandpa Pig is in his herb garden. Grandpa! Grandpa! Smell this! <sighs> Pooey! It smells like pond water. It's my special perfume. I made it with flowers from the garden. Oh, yes. It's the most beautiful perfume in the world. Yes. Do you like it, George? No. George doesn't like the smell of flowers. Take this bucket, George. You can make perfume out of something else. I have got lots of lovely smelly things in my herb garden. This is rosemary. I like to use it in my cooking. Hmm, it smells interesting. <coughs> this is mint. Oh, that smells very minty. Yeah. And this is lavender. Oh, that smells like Granny Pig's perfume. Wow, that's a strong smell of lavender. Uh, 
Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Daddy, why are you buying an ice cream? Oh, Pepper, I was on the way to the gym when I thought an ice cream would be nice. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is ill. You've got to sell the ice cream today. Ho, ho! I'm an expert at ice cream. Can I have a cherry ice cream? Uh, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, banana. With pistachio and strawberry, please. Ah, strawberry. Oh, it's melted. How about ice cream soup instead? Granddad dog's breakdown service. Miss Rabbit is ill. Can you drive a bus today? Of course, Peppa. <laughs> All aboard! Mummy Sheep's car has broken down. <laughs> Granddad dog's breakdown service. <laughs> Can you rescue me, please? I'll be straight there. We would like to apologise for any inconvenience this may cause to your journey. Driving a bus is quite hard. Selling ice cream is quite hard. Running a supermarket checkout is quite hard. Uh, I'm feeling better. Can I get up now? No, you must lie very still, but please keep breathing. Are you feeling any better, Miss Rabbit? It's not easy doing all your jobs. It's not easy looking after your little bunnies. <laughs> you will be back to work tomorrow, won't you? Yes. And you'll be back at home, won't you? Yes. <laughs> Is that? It's a surfboard. What do you do with it? You lie on it and the waves push you along. Ooh. Come on, Peppa, I'll teach you. <laughs> it's easy to float because the board is super floaty. <laughs> <laughs> the tricky bit is catching the wave. Ready, steady, now, Peppa. <laughs> Kylie is being carried along by a wave. <laughs> Don't miss the next one, Peppa. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Yes, it's brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever. It's true. <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever. Ready? <laughs> George wants to go surfing. <laughs> Sorry, George, you're a bit too little to go surfing. Oh, the waves are getting too big for Pepper and Carly. Oh, is it time to go home? Are you kidding? These waves are perfect for grown ups to surf. Woohoo! <laughs> your little brother? He's out there with Mum. <laughs> Having fun, Joey? <laughs> <laughs> your turn to surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Oh, the waves have gone. Why don't you children go and play in the garden while we pack? Okay, Mummy. <laughs> this holiday is the best. <laughs> I loved having you stay, Peppa. I wish we didn't have to go back home. <laughs> Don't be sad. I've got you a goodbye present. Ooh, is it a banana? No. <laughs> Dinosaur? No. It's a thing. Yes, but it's not just any old thing. It's a boomerang. A boomerang? Boomerangs are very special to us. We've used them since olden times. Wow! Thank you, Kylie. 
Uh, what do you do with it? You play catch with it. Like a ball. Sort of, but when you throw a boomerang, it comes back to you. That's impossible. <laughs> I told you it was impossible. You need to throw it harder. George, you have a go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it doesn't work. You're just not throwing it right. <laughs> you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? <gasps> Watch out! Whoa! Ha! I did it! The boomerang has <laughs> flown all the way back to Pepper. <laughs> what was that? It's a boomerang, Daddy. Ah, uh, yes. You have to throw it hard and then it comes back. Allow me to show you, Mr Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! So, when does it come back? Ah. Keep a good look out, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. I think we might have found it. Hello. This is Mr Wallaby. He is the next door neighbour. We turn dolls like this into dolls like this. Ooh. Have you got a sick dolly? Yes. What is it? A mouse or a dog? It's a bear. Well, we have got our work cut out, haven't we? <laughs> ah! And a dinosaur. Are you booking them both in? Yes, please. OK. So tell me, little bear, what have you been doing to get so poorly? Teddy has been rolling down hills, jumping in muddy puddles and being sat on. It's no wonder you're not looking your best. There'll be no more rolling down hills, jumping in muddy puddles or being sat on once I've finished with you. But Teddy likes doing those things. You do seem a bit floppy. Nothing some extra stuffing won't fix. What do you mean? Look, this elephant is a bit sad, but he just needs more stuffing. Teddy likes being floppy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Would Mr Dinosaur like some extra stuff? <laughs> OK. Would Teddy like a new outfit? Here we have a smart sailor's uniform. But Teddy is a girl. Girls can be sailors too, Pepper. Yes, but Teddy doesn't want to be a sailor. How about a pilot? No. Deepsea diver? No. What about a princess? I think Teddy is happy not to have any clothes, thank you, Miss Rabbit. What about Mr Dinosaur? No. Fair enough. Would Teddy like new eyes? You know what they say, the eyes are the windows to the soul. What's a soul? Uh, it's a bit complicated. Just look at these eyes. We've got green eyes, blue eyes, or even these googly eyes. The soul thingy might look a bit wrong with those eyes on. Teddy's eyes don't need changing, thank you, Miss Rabbit. What about Mr Dinosaur? Does he want some new eyes? No. Fine. One thing I can offer you, Teddy, is a new voice. The voices come in little plastic boxes which go inside the doll. Hello. I love you. Cowboys love beans on toast. Everybody loves beans on toast. Who wants a cowboy song? Do you know a real cowboy song? Yes. I made it up. And it goes like this. I'm a brave cowboy and I'm eating my beans With a bing and a bong and a boo Baked beans bang, baked beans boo Baked beans bingly bongly bang Baked beans bang, baked beans boo Baked beans bingly bongly bang <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a story in the tent I could tell a story. Make it scary. <laughs> it was a wet and windy night in the Wild West. Ooh. And wild animals were out looking for food. Looking for food at night? Some animals eat at night, Susie. Wild animals. Brrr. And the brave cowboy Pedro was alone in his tent. But he couldn't sleep because something 
was outside the tent. Was it a wild animal? What's that? It's a wild animal! Ah! Oh! It is a tiny little bird. Come to look at Pedro's tent. I think it was an eagle. Eagles live in the Wild West. Is everybody all right? Yes, Mummy. It's nearly home time. But we haven't done the pretend sleeping yet. Everybody back in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, partners. Good, Good night, Cowboy Pedro. Pedro. <sighs> I'm glad there aren't any wild animals out there. Oh! Wild animals! <laughs> Uh, oh, it's stopped. Well, I'm glad that's all over. Ah! This is brilliant! <laughs> Everybody off! <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it, Daddy? Uh, yes, lots of fun. Mummy, what's that? Go round and put your head through that hole. Now what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Susie, you're a tomato. Look, I'm a carrot. Oh, yes. And I'm a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the dinosaur garden. Ooh. Say hello to my dinosaur friends. Uh, don't be frightened. They are not real. But this is exactly how they would have looked walking the Earth together. No, it's not. What? Triceratops lived in the Cretaceous period. The Stegosaurus was Jurassic. They would not have walked together. How do you know that? I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> anyway, who wants to ride one? Me, me. Why have you got dinosaurs in Potato City? Uh, because dinosaurs ate potatoes? No. Anyway, children like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs! <laughs> roll up, roll up for the vegetable roundabout swing thing. A vegetable roundabout swing thing. <laughs> Potato City because it teaches you about vegetables and swings you round and round. <laughs> Potato City, where the magic of vegetables never ends. <laughs> Hello. G'day, Mr. Pig. We met at the airport. Remember? Um. It was a while back. You said we could visit any time. Did I? Yeah. Since we last saw you, we've had Kylie and Joey. Say hello, kids. Hello, I'm Kylie Kangaroo. I'm Peppa Pig. <coughs> and this is my little brother, George. <coughs> this is my little brother, Joey. <laughs> Joey lives in Mummy Kangaroo's pocket. <laughs> it's thirsty work, this travelling around. Would you like a drink? Yes, please. Lemonade. My favourite. Mmm, that's lovely. Here, sit down. Are you hungry? I'm always hungry. No worries. We'll make lunch. Mr Kangaroo is going to cook lunch on a barbecue. Corn on the cob, anyone? Yummy. Yummy. We should do this at our house. Hang on. This is our house. Come on, Kylie. Let's play in the garden. We can play my favourite game, jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I like jumping too. First we have to find a puddle. Oh, there aren't any muddy puddles. The ground is too dry for muddy puddles. I wish it would rain. I hope it doesn't rain. Oh, we love rain. We don't see much of it back home. Well, if you want to make it rain in this country, have a barbecue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can still do jumping. George is quite good at jumping, but I am the best. Watch 
this. That's how you do it. Now you try, Kylie. OK. Kangaroos can jump very high. Wow! How does that work? It's a funny magic mirror spoon. <laughs> I know where there are some big funny mirrors. Really? Wobbly mirrors in a tent. Where are these wobbly mirrors? At the fair. The parents have brought the children to the fair. Roll up, roll up. See my amazing wobbly mirrors. <laughs> the tent is full of big wobbly mirrors. Ooh, what's happened to my body? <laughs> <laughs> You're a wobbly jelly. <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble. How does it do that, Daddy? It's very simple. Illusions of optical differentials by convex and concave surfaces generate patterns... So it's magic? Uh, yes. It's magic. Look at me! <laughs> I've gone all squishy! <laughs> <laughs> I've got a long neck, like a giraffe. <laughs> this mirror looks normal to me. Daddy! Where's your big tummy gone? What tummy? <laughs> <laughs> it is Mummy Rabbit with her baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, sister. How are you today? Very good, sister. Mustn't chat for long, though. I've got customers inside the tent. Aren't the mirrors amazing, Daddy Pig? Wow! I can see two of you. What do you mean? I can see you in the mirror. But there's no mirror. Is it magic? Silly Daddy, it's Miss Rabbit and Mummy Rabbit. Oh. I suppose we do look a bit the same. Well, we, we are, are sisters. sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And what do we need to make a muddy puddle? Dirt and water. Dirt and water. Mix them together to make a muddy puddle. Pepper, please test the puddle. This puddle is too dry. Let's add some more water. Please jump again, Pepper. This puddle is just right. Nice and muddy. <laughs> and making muddy puddles is a bit like making concrete. Concrete is what we're using to make your new playground. It starts off wet and soft like mud, then it sets and goes hard forever. Ooh. Right now, it is gloopy like custard. Let me show you. You see? It's very soft. But who can tell me what's going to happen next? The concrete will go hard. Exactly. It will set as hard as rock. Uh, Daddy Pig, I think you should step out of there before... I'll be with you in a moment, Mr Bull. I'm just talking to the children. Yes, but... Uh... You see, the concrete is soft. Still soft. And now... Hard. Wow. All thanks to a bit of simple science. Now, Mr. Bull, uh, what was it you were saying? I was trying to say you should get out before the concrete goes hard. Ah. Daddy Pig is stuck. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll have you out in a jiffy. How? I'll dig up a playground. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves being dug out of concrete. Everyone loves being dug out of concrete. <laughs> ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs. Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. 
If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs. Crocodile and Mr. Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs. Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes. Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> what animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello, I'm Mr. Giraffe. Hello, Mr. Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting to pounce. <laughs> Ooh, butterflies! Mr Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies' feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes. All this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr Lion? Oh, lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice and an apple. The kangaroo family have an aeroplane. Wow! You have a plane! Yes, we're going to fly to the picnic spot. All aboard! <laughs> Everybody ready? Yes! Then let's go! <laughs> Where are we going for the picnic? To a special place in the outback. Ooh! Flying in an aeroplane on a sunny day. Going to a picnic a long, long way away. Going to the outback on a sunny day. Flying to the outback a long, long way away. <laughs> <laughs> Is the outback? We're flying over it now. Oh, it looks like a desert. It kind of is, but the outback is also a special, magical place for us. Ooh. Here is our picnic spot with our special picnic tree. It's the only tree for miles. <laughs> wow, it's hot. Have you got any water? Too right. We all need water. Water is a precious thing in the outback, so don't... Ah, nice and cool. Waste it. Daddy, you have to drink it, not splash it around. Ah. No worries. Let's cook up a good old-fashioned Australian picnic. Oh, sounds lovely. Should we collect wood for the campfire? You don't need wood when you've got gas. Mr Kangaroo has a gas barbecue. When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. Oh. It is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. We must never, never take anything away from here. Ah, oh, look, little fish. They're clownfish. Clownfish? <laughs> they do look quite funny. Look over there. A big blue starfish. There's a tiny red one. And a spiky green one. What's that? That's a turtle. Ooh. Hello, Mrs Turtle. How are you today? <laughs> you see how lucky I am to work in such an amazing place, Pepper. <laughs> Look, a little bridge, just like in your fish tank. Oh, 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 you're right, Pepper. It is quite like the fish tank here, except there's no treasure chest, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what have you seen, George? It looks like a chest full of gold coins. Wow! wow. George has found a treasure chest. You see, Daddy, everything is the same as the fish tank. Uh, yes. That 
gold must be worth a fortune. I think I can get it. But you said we must never take anything away. I meant natural things that belong here. That's right. These gold coins don't belong here, so we need to remove them. Ah! It will all go to a good cause. Yes, it'll pay for lots more marine research. Hooray! That was a good day at the office. We saw coral and fishes and a turtle. This is a great holiday. I don't want it to ever end. <laughs> but you are going to leave sometime, right? Oh, not that you aren't welcome to stay as long as you like, of course. <laughs> They're on their way. Over. I see them coming. Over. <laughs> Very good breaking, everyone. Are you ready for Madame Gazelle? Over. Send her down. Over. Uh, I don't think I need to do this. I am the teacher and I wasn't Off supposed to go. be taught. Ooh. Ears and eyes open. Ears and eyes open. Yes. Woohoo! This is fun. Ring your bell. Oh, yes. Ring bell. Breaks. Oh, yes. Breaks. <laughs> Well done. And that's how to ride your bicycles safely. Children, thank the police for taking time off from their important work to talk to us today. Thank you. You're very welcome. When I grow up, I want to be a policeman. And what is it about being a policeman that you like? I like blowing whistles. <whistles> very good. But of course, there's more to being a police officer than blowing whistles. Oh, yes. We're always very busy. We do lots of very important things, like... Uh... The police solve mysteries and drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, woo! -hoo. Spot on, Freddy. Right, we really must be on our way. And remember, always keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> oh, who put that tree there? Yes. It's not a safe place to put a tree. I'll make a note. Dangerous tree on public highway. Ho, ho. You see, children, a police officer's work is never done. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Pepper loves the police. Everyone loves the police. <laughs> I hope it's sunny when we get home. Pepper's family have arrived home. <laughs> Granny Pig, Grandpa Pig, Goldie! What has Grandpa done to you? Um, she has filled out a bit, hasn't she? Naughty Grandpa, you fed her too much. She was always hungry. We've brought you some presents from Italy. Look, Grandpa, a beautiful garden gnome. Oh, you really shouldn't have. Granny, has my postcard arrived? No, Peppa, not yet. Oh. That's my postcard. Hello. Oh, it's only Susie. I've really missed you, Peppa. <laughs> I've missed you too, Susie. <laughs> Pepper and Susie are best friends. Here is Mr Zebra, the postman. A postcard all the way from Italy. Ho, ho! We got here quicker than the postcard. Look, Goldie. I sent you this postcard from our holiday. Did you have a nice time on holiday, Peppa? Yes. Did you have a nice time? It rained every day. Oh, Goody. That means there'll be muddy puddles. <laughs> Pepper and Susie love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Holidays are nice, but coming home to muddy puddles is even better. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
I'm sure we'll find you a lovely new dinosaur here, George. I'm sure. George does not want a new dinosaur. Look, George, a big dinosaur. <gasps> dinosaur. <laughs> Good morning. Can I help you? We'd like the dinosaur in the window, please. Certainly. Good choice. This is the dino roar. It roars, it walks, and it sings a dinosaur song. Dino roar, dino roar, listen to the dino roar. Roar! Wow! wow. Dino roar! <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> roar! <laughs> George is playing with Dino Roar in the garden. Don't play too roughly with Dino Roar, George. He has moving parts and might get broken. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden. George wants to play with Dino Roar in the bath. George, if you get Dino Roar wet, he'll stop working. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the bath. <sighs> It is night time. George has taken Dino Roar to bed with him. Roar! <gasps> George! Dino Roar, Dino Dino Roar, Roar has woken me up! Dino Maybe Dino Roar should sleep Dino Roar somewhere else. George cannot have Dino Roar in his bed at night. It is morning. Why is George looking so sad? George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden, in the bath, or in bed. Never mind, George. Dino Roar can still roar. Dino Roar, Dino Roar, listen to the Dino Roar. Yeah. Oh. I think the batteries must have run out, Daddy Pig. Already? How many batteries are in here? Thank you.